Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tripoli 416 Microprocessor and Embedded Systems Laboratory Final Project Demonstration. The title of our project was Microcontroller Based Digital Logic IC Tester. I'm Ishmi Chaudhary with my project mate, Sadman Sakib Shurab, Sakhlain Moshed, and Sumai Yalo. Most of the engineering students studied digital logic design, use digital ICs in the lab as well as outside the lab in their projects and other applications. Sometimes, while soldering these ICs on the board, you may not get the proper output which would make you think whether it's working properly or not. In such a case, it would be very impractical to sit down and check each IC. The question is, how will you do it in an effective way? The answer to this question is very simple. You don't have to. Leave this word to Arduino you know, and a few lines of code. So basically, we have used our genome, you know, which is based on 80 mega328 pre-microcontroller, LCD display, male-to-female wires, male-to-male wires, adapter, blue connector, IC, OR, and NOR, NAND, XOR, NOT, and breadboard. For software, we have used Proteus 8.11 and Arduino IDE. And in the right, Arduino IDE is based on a C++ language. Moving on. In our project, we use 7406 logic gate ICs. There are 14 pins in an IC. Pin 7 is the ground pin, and pin 14 is the VCC pin. We know that there are four gates inside an IC except NOT gate. Two input gates have four outputs, whether NOT gate IC has six inputs and six outputs. There are four different combinations uh, of input are possible. We use their 00. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 logics as input and got 0, 1, 1, 1 for OR gate. If we uh, verify this uh, input for N gate, we should get output as 0, 0, 0, and 1. And this is our N gate formation 0, 0, 0, and D is output 1. For logic gate IC uh, not gate, we uh, use six different input, uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and we should get output uh, in U, V, W, X, Y, Z as 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. And this is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. And this is our methodology of this uh, project. In our project simulation part, we use Proteus for circuit simulation. Here we use Arduino Uno and LCD monitor. As there are no logic gate IC in our Proteus, we made a sub-circuit for different ICs. We took the pin number as mentioned in the ICs data set for our module. If we go inside the module, we see there are four OR gate with their input output ports, label them according to the data set. When four of our logic gates are same, output will be shown. If we return to the parent sheet, we also notice that pin 14 is the VCC port and pin seven is the ground connection. After simulation, LCD will show it is OR gate. If we go back to the IC sub circuit and replace all the gates with N gate, it will show the same result. We can do it for NAND, XOR, XNOR gate also. If one of the four gates are not matched with others, it will show error. We cannot implement a sub-circuit for PCB layout. That's why we have to regenerate the circuit with the help of four 7408 gates and Arduino Uno R3 as it's uh, PCB footprint was made before. We connected the wire as same as the previous circuit. Uh, if we go to the PCB layout of the circuit, we see that uh, this output will be come. Uh, and after auto routing, the four logic gates act, act like 14 pin 7408 IC as we expected. Here is the uh, total picture of this IC. And uh, we go to the 3D visualizer for the PCB layout and uh, we see the PCB board of this circuit. Uh, for hardware simulation, we... Here goes the hardware part of our project. We have taken six different ICs 
named and get or get not get nand nor and exoget we are going to test each i see to our hardware part and we'll see if the named written in the notebook is matched with the edd display let's first check with the and get we are going to paste the and get ic to our breadboard and then restart the Arduino module and it is shown that it's an AND gate and code name is 7408 then we are going to test OR gate 7432 we have placed here and then restart the Arduino module again and it shows us it is a OR gate code name is 7432 Now let's check the IC not get. Uh, not get code is 7404. It should be displayed on the LED module. Again, okay. absolutely fine. Not get 7404. Now we'll determine if this IC is not get or not. Here is a NAND gate IC, code name is 7400. It's completely fine, NAND gate is 7400. Now let's move on the next IC, it's NOR gate 7402. It shows us it's an orbit 7403. Then finally, we'll check this exoid IC 7486. Let's see if our project shows this IC exo 7486 or not. We are placing to the breadboard. Now we're starting. It's exo 7486. So it's shown that our hardware demonstration is absolutely fine. All the IC's uh, code number and name has been showed in this display for uh, the certain IC. We have displayed the certain code name and the IC's name. Uh, we have uh, checked uh, about six ICs here. Uh, three basics, are, uh, three basic get, uh, get ICs and not and all, and three also NAND, NOR, XR. We have also checked for X NOR gate. Uh, basically, what is happened that in the market we could not manage the X NOR IC, so we could not uh, show the IC's result here. So thank you. In summary, we have developed a project called IC Tester which can detect the logic ICs and also can show the ICs gate names with its code number. If any ICs, any pin doesn't work, it shows null in the display. This project is mainly based on Arduino module. You can also make the project convenient to any kind of ICs of lower than 40 pins by adding some additional code in code sections. The system can be further developed for many other market ICs other than 74 ICs such as OPAM, regulators, computer, etc. The developed IC tester is useful for educational purpose. Further advanced development can make it efficient for industrial use. The wrong where no insertion of the IC can be detected by programming in Arduino. For example, if an IC is inserted incorrectly, buzzer will buzz to inform Users will indicate and LCD that IC is inserted incorrectly or no IC is inserted. So that is all. Thank you, everyone.